Hi everybody, this is Nate Hoffman. I run a group called G Suite for Healthcare Providers on Facebook. I also have a YouTube channel by the same name, so please, please feel free to join the group or subscribe to my channel so that you can get really cool tutorials on how to optimize G Suite for patient management, documentation, workflows, patient intakes, all sorts of really cool things like that. Um, anyway, I wanted to get on today and show or demonstrate this really cool tool that a friend of mine, who's also a part of my Facebook group, turned me on to. It's called TextBlaze. And people, this thing is amazing. I can't believe I didn't even know of its existence previously, but it's fantastic. Uh, so what it allows you to do is create keyboard shortcuts that produces all sorts of verbiage, right? So obviously a ton of benefit here for documentation purposes. And even if you don't use G Suite, if you're using a normal e or just a purchased EMR, if you're using the browser, it works for that because this is a Google add-on, right? Uh, or a browser add-on. I know it does actually work uh, with other browsers, but Chrome particularly, at least for me so far, it's worked really well. Um, so what? It, so let me give you a quick example. So for example, I wrote just kind of generals, uh, you know, if I wanted to do seated biking with somebody. I'm a physical therapist, right? So if I did seated biking with somebody, I would push backslash bike, and what, what it produces is this entire, uh, this is all all this verbiage based off of what I'm trying to to accomplish or based off of this snippet that I've produced right this shortcut so let me show you how to create that so you push this button up here on the upper left hand side here it's called you know it says create a new snippet I come down here um, I might put let's I, I actually already developed one previous I'm gonna call it ATP for home exercise program I'm gonna say that my shortcut uh, my, my shortcut word or whatever uh, keystroke is going to be backslash HEP and I'm going to put in this stuff right here right instruct a patient in performing home exercise program including and then I would put in whatever exercise I showed them uh, to improve patient outcome through adherence to plan of care right so as we know if we actually provide a home exercise program and if it's written it tends to help imp improve adherence and compliance right so let me show you how it works. So if I came over to here, this is, let's say I was documenting in here, and I'll put in some of the things I had thought up previously, like some typical assessment, assessment verbiage that I might use. There you go, and it pops up the entire thing. Uh, backslash bike. Backslash, I, maybe I have one for exercises? Exercise? Nope, I don't have one for that. Backslash, let's see if this one's already, yep, the home exercise program one has already worked. So there you go. It's super simple, and as you can see, can allow you to do a lot of things. Just imagine for specific diagnoses, if you have a set of goals that you'll typically use, right? For like a low back problem, for example, you know, you might have three or four goals that you typically lose, use saying, oh, I want the patient to be able to stoop. I want them to be able to sit for a certain period of time. I want them to be able to walk for a period of time without them having back pain. And I can produce all of those goals beforehand and just put, you know, backslash lumbar goals or whatever it is. And it'll just pop up all the verbiage that I typically use. Again, awesome, not just for G Suite, but any EMR that you're using. Anyway, I hope that helps some of you folks out there. Super cool stuff. Again, Brad, thanks for showing me this tool, and I, I hope you guys all enjoy it. Again, please feel free to reach out to me on my Facebook group or, or my YouTube channel, and uh, hope you guys have a good one. Bye.